What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome. I'm back to more near Replicant. So we just wrapped up our first stream of the game, focused on the side quests. Uh, that should be in the playlist right before this part. But just to recap it, because it is like three hours, uh, mainly we focused on, like the first hour was farming robots. So uh, just go hopping over to my quests here. We got quite a few quests done. Gatekeeper's Aaron, we fought a giant shade. Um, there was another one where we fought a giant shade. Bridge and Peril was a giant shade. Uh, Master of the Southern Plain. No, you know, these two were giant shades. This was this crazy quest that got me like 30,000 gold. That got me a bunch of gold. This got me a bunch of weapons. Um, I don't know what the other one was. A Keeper's Errand. Oh, no, that's someone simple. But anyway, uh, so we picked up a bunch of new weapons. There's really only one weapon I'm using, but we need to have all of the weapons in the game to access one of the endings. So to kind of uh, Phoenix Spear, this thing is crazy. I've upgraded it once and it's at 576 with 60% magic and moderate weight. Absolutely absurd. Uh, you can see kind of some other stuff. The Captain's Holy Spear, not bad at 4, 467, but most of these aren't even remotely comparable. Um, we got the Phoenix Dagger, so if I want to do one-handed, this thing is at 240 compared to the other damage values. The Phoenix weapons are just crazy. Uh, and on the Great Swords, we haven't really gotten much. The Vile Axe here at 384, 364 here. Um, so some things, but you know, more, most of it we're going to be using this. So basically, we, we, we got a bunch of money, did a bunch of upgrades. Uh, and I'm actually, I almost have what I need to upgrade my spear again. Uh, I need, where am I? I'm missing one gold ore. So, gold ore is just kind of randomly found in the world. When I find one, I'm of course going to upgrade this. Uh, but otherwise, we're ready to continue. We're, we might end up doing another stream in the future. Kind of focused more on uh, doing those side quests again. The, the biggest thing is I need to... Find your Yona. I really hope we find Yona too. Um... You need to get all of the weapons in the game to unlock ending C. And that required a lot of money and buying them from the blacksmith. So I think I have all of them as of now. I mean, we spent like 200,000 gold roughly. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we got all the stuff we needed. Did a good bit of rare material farming as well. Getting uh, the the uh, eagle, eagle egg that we needed for the spear. That took a while to get. Uh, as well as farming up like memory alloy and titanium off the robots, that took a while. But that's what made it uh, perfect content for stream, you know. Um, so we have a side quest up here in addition to the main quest. The area has people now, like little shops and shit shut up. That was a little unexpected. Uh, the home of that blasted dream. Yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to ex- Right there with you, Vice. Experience again. I hear you. Hey, so there's him. Let me see if I can find the, the kid. It was like, oh, there's a kid that's Everything cursed. Everything seems normal here. We appear to have hit a dead end. Say, what is that on the ground? This is probably the side quest item. Just some funny looking berries. Ah, poisonous ones, I'd wager. Well, I'm sure not gonna eat them and find out. presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prayer. And why is that? I don't know. 
<laughs> it's just how things have always been. Weird. I don't know. <laughs> okay. You are useless. Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? You should talk, Vice. As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. It's the dark entity of her Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? Black, pure darkness painted over everything. Words scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words, difficult words, amorous words, all sparkling in the dark like jewels. The words were few now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in desperation, the tree turned to the sky. This is wrong, whispered the tree in the voice of wind through the leaves. This is not how it was supposed to be. The plan has failed. Once long ago, the tree had remembered everything about the world, but that was its task, its function, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of mankind. This was no accident. Emotions were as much a part of the tree as root and bark. Memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree. And once they had formed a web that spanned the entire world, words collapsed into sunlight before passing through the leaves and into the pool of memory. From the pool, the words joined together to form colonies. The colonies united into whirlpools of light, and the light coalesced into stars. Each star was like a child of the tree, and it loved them all. Look at my memory. A child is here, brought low by disease. He's far too young to have suffered so. Then beyond words, the boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleached sheets upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since started his fate to the gods. The boy, too, abandoned hope. Strange emotions, weariness, hatred swell within the dark recess of his young heart. He tries to reject the black terror that germinates his body, but no amount of effort and tears can drive the invader away. Uh, ceased to resent his parents and doctors. Once he did, but now his pain is so great there is little room in his heart to think of others. Oh, one person brings the boy comfort. Healthy young girl with tan skin and deep blue eyes. Beacon of brightness. You can't look at her face whenever they meet. He loathes his own state. Girl will stop coming. Thinks if he could talk to her, but it never happens. Girl disappears. Boy dies alone. Tree yeets up his memory and carefully stores it with envy. Look at my memories. Female warrior. So we're just going through more memories. All right, we're, we're going to burn through this. So the boy with envy, a shame it was a favorite of mine. After many centuries of existence, the tree salts carefully the old members were going to dwindle. was abusing the memories. It slipped through your fingers. Come on, we have to go back to that. What? Whoa, whoa, hold up. Did I, I mean, Envy's always green. What? Did it say something about a color in the whole Envy dialogue that I missed? Oh, bro, no. Alright, this was the kid. Strange emotions. The only thing about the kid it said was that. Deep brown eyes. Okay, the girl's eyes were brown, so that's the envy color is brown. Um, we're just gonna look for colors. She does not know. Uh, 
Those in darkness. Be so large it blots out the sky. Loss. And the dragon. Okay. They bamboozled me with the... What is the color of Envy? Because Envy is always associated with green. Green is jealousy and all that. Color of Lost Envy would be brown for the eyes. This was a promise made long ago. This is how it'll be released. I was not yet right. How many were lost by the warrior? 33 friends. Something brown and shiny fell from the stomach and clattered to the floor. The key. Secure the key. Difficult to discern the meeting. The pool of memories began to crack as infinite blackness burrowed its way into the wall. This world is falling apart. How can a world of letters, I implore, most important thing, world? Uh, Yona. We'll go for the third Yona. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. It might be that you could take any Yona. God, I hate word stuff. Damn words. What in the... I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Hmm. Hey, we got a fragment. Though the question is, where do I get the other fragment, the one that we're missing? Because, I mean, it, it, there were, the suggestion was we'd get the fragment. Uh, Let's see if the Junk Heap kid sent us a letter. The, um... What was I about to say? Where would I check for a letter? This is like the mailbox because that serves as a save. Um, but yeah, I never found the key that would have been located in the junkie. You guys solved the mystery yet? No, we got nothing. Too bad. Hey, what's with those berries? What, these? We picked them up over by that huge tree. I thought maybe... Give me, I'm starving. No! Are you mad? Those berries are clearly poisonous. Even one such as you can't hope to... Damn, these are delicious. Give me more. Well, in that case, I suppose I should try one. <laughs> Just knocks me out of my ass. Oh, I think Vice was right about those berries. Feels like somebody stabbed me in the gut. Hey, w what's wrong? Oh no, don't tell me you ate one of those berries. For the love of trees, those things are deadly. Quick, take this antidote before you perish. Five minutes later. <sighs> Thought I was a goner there. Are you an idiot? Didn't you see the lumps? The unusual colors? Only a child would attempt to eat something like that. A child? Oh crap, I, I bet that kid ate one of these berries. Yes, quite possibly. And if the poison is this painful for you, I can only imagine what it would do to a small child. Hey, Kaine, did you take the antidote? Don't need it. God, those berries were amazing. Or like shade berries or something? The truly amazing thing is that your stomach is fouler than your taste in clothing. If you had genitals, I would so chop them off right now. Feel my arms and legs. I feel great. 
Man, you must have a cast iron stomach, honey. The hussy's internal organs are as filthy as her mouth. <laughs> Why do you have to be such a shithead all the time, book? We're gonna go check the brother. I don't know where I'd, I'd find. I think I'd ladder would be at the village, but. That's a jumping forward thrust. So it's mostly a stationary spin into a combo. Whereas this does a more forward oriented spin. Yeah, I guess let's go by the village. I don't know. We'll just follow the X. The X should take me where I need to go. So maybe shades are like the emotions of people who have died. And then people that have a particularly strong emotion, like a heavy sense of regret or envy or something, that's what makes your mega shades. Mailbox. You have a letter. Uh, the weapon is ready. Personal request to make of you. He's done a lot for us. Off to the junk heap then. You know what? I'm gonna bet that uh, when we do the junk heap thing, he'll probably be like, "I want you to go kill this robot or whatever." Um, and that robot is probably gonna be the one I get the key from. Kinda was put together in all the right places. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but when I grow up, I wanna be that. Yeah. Man, I wish I could just float like a meal. Hey there. Great. Thanks. Iron Will. You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother.
That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. A Shade has joined forces with a robot? There's a Shade in there? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided, hmm? That we're killing it. We're gonna kill it. I would like wrap up here, but I feel like we've been cruising. I feel like we can just keep pushing on. If I hit like a bunch of puzzle stuff inside, we'll we'll find a, a spot to like take a break, start up the next episode. But yeah, I don't want to. I mean, we're only twenty minutes in. It seems silly to stop now. We might be able to knock out both uh, get both keys on this episode. Don't know where Is this an elevator thing to find this guy? Let me try B1 first, I'll look and then maybe B2. So no B2 is where I went to farm my titanium and memory alloy. And I think B1 might be where I gotta go for this, because it was blocked off previously. Nope, still blocked off. Hmm. He didn't really give me a lot of context on where I should be going. I guess I'm gonna push my way towards the towards the depths.
Come on, push. There we go. Still don't see anything, so we're gonna keep keep going when we're going, head of the depths. This thing's about to get destroyed. Damn, and I got memory alloy off of him. Let's go, dude. Instant killed, and I got the rare drop. We were actually talking about that on stream. I was like, well, maybe I should fight him until I get one more memory alloy. I don't know when I'm going to need it again. Got it already. Still don't see a thing telling me where to go. I mean, I feel like it's B1, but that area is still blocked off. I might need to go back and talk to the I've guy. Never heard of a shade living with a machine. No, we're definitely on the right track. What's that about? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. If we weren't on the right track, I wouldn't have gotten that dialogue. All right. Well, let's let's wrap up here. Um, we'll we'll push to the first floor and do what I'm assuming is a dope boss fight in the next episode. So, get ready for some goodness, and I'll catch y'all soon.